the Toronto Maple Leafs have signed Ilya Mikheyev to a very very good contract. Take a look at this over here. It is two years with an AAV of 1.645. As reported by Elliot Friedman, Pierre Lebrun, it was actually Dan Milstein, the agent, who broke the news itself. It's a two-year contract extension for Ilya Mikheyev and the Toronto Maple Leafs. This allows them to get things done before the arbitration date. And... For the most part, it's a sub $2 million deal for a middle six forward who is very good at actually producing points. When he played with the Leafs this past season, he had 39 games played, 23 points, 8 goals, 15 assists, on pace for roughly 50-ish points, minus a little bit over there which is very good for a guy who was re-signed to a 1.6 AAV contract for two years. Sure, in the playoffs, he didn't really do much on the score sheet, but what you're looking for in soup is not even just the points. The guy plays PK, the guy plays all around, and as a guy who is only 26 years old, what you're looking at is a player who can very well get better as his years in Toronto come forward. Now, though, with the Toronto Maple Leafs taking a look at their overall cap situation, with the Ilya Mikheyev contract, they are indeed again over the salary cap. This happened earlier when they signed TJ Brody to that deal. They were over the salary cap. They traded Andreas Janssen the next day to bring themselves back under the cap. But since then, they did do a few more things from that point on. They signed Jimmy VC, they signed Zach Bogosian, they signed Joe Thornton, and they signed Aaron Dell. So now, taking a look at where the Leafs are cap-wise, they are indeed over the salary cap once more. Who knows if this is just going to be a thing where, oh, if you move somebody into the AHL, they're going to be fine. Or, oh, they just got to put a guy on waivers and it'll bring them back underneath the cap. However, if you take a look at the math behind the calculations, they are indeed a uh, hundred and seventy five thousand dollars over the cap so we will see exactly how the Leafs are going to go with all this stuff into the next few days I also find it very interesting how the Maple Leafs kind of really structured everything quite nicely. You have Travis Boyd, Joe Thornton, Jason Spezza, VC, Simmons, and Zach Hyman, who all expire next season. And with the flat cap being insinuated, I would not be surprised if half of those guys are not Maple Leafs next year, and they come in and replace these guys with other cheaper contracts that would be available in free agency. They also have Bogosian and Miko Lettinen, who are also expiring over there as well, so there indeed is some room for movement here. Not to mention, you still have Travis Dermott, whom you have to re-sign as well. He's an RFA at the moment, we'll see what happens with him. But the Maple Leafs cap crunch and their whole situation, financially speaking, is indeed getting more interesting as each new contract gets added on. But at the end of the day, what you're getting here from Mikheyev, $1.6 million, two years, I love it. He's a very, very capable NHL player, and with a full season of playing time, I want to see what Mikheyev is going to be able to do. This guy absolutely can put himself in a position where $1.6 million is considered a big steal, hopefully by the halfway mark of the upcoming season. But as I'm sure all the Leafs fans out there are doing, I personally am rooting very hard for Mikheyev to outplay the contract to prove himself as somebody who was very much capable of being a consistent NHL player at the rate that he was at before he got his hand injury. So, talk to me in the comments if you think about Ilya Mikheyev's re-signing. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you. And bye.